legit for a sec. I'm going to stop screen sharing because I actually have my Quest 3 right here. So I can okay. actually show the real thing. Um, Sounds good. So let me stop screen sharing for a sec. Yeah. Great. Okay. So this might look a bit different than a normal Quest 3. That's because it has a couple mods to it. Um related to the head strap and how I connect it to batteries and stuff like that, as well as a extra protective cover, which Apple is definitely going to be selling a lot of third-party protective covers for their headset, probably. Um, but the Quest 3, like, this is the... First time I've bought headset in quite a while. Um, and I really think for its price, it's pretty good. I am, it's more expensive than the Quest 2. Like this, this is a 512 gigabyte model, which is $649. The And you kind of need that, right? Yeah. You need or, the 512. If to you're a developer to... or you want to have a lot of games or a lot of VR chat worlds, because the, the actual software at the device uses up about 20 gigabytes of the storage on the headset. So the 128 gigabyte version actually is closer to like 80 to 90 gigabytes, which... That okay, can so hold it's, it's 256 things, that's the minimum. Yeah. That you, oh, wait, there's one that's two, the minimum. Two, so it's yeah. one up from the bottom yeah. is the one that you want. Yeah, because yeah. there is not enough room otherwise. Yeah. Uh, very quickly. Well, yeah. Yeah, but generally, that said, I'll, I'll be showing the specs later. Um, I have all the specs next to each other to compare between that sets. But the thing is, is the issue with all of these headsets generally is related to inefficiencies in certain parts of their designs, usually ergonomics. There's, it's actually kind of sad how badly they um, ignore ergonomics on headsets even apple has a few issues i they did better than most but they did not do it as well as i think they definitely could have mm -hmm. um that's why i have a different head strap on this as well as a different facial interface plate I also, to protect the lenses, have a lens cover. Then I have a device right here. This is so I can plug it into my computer and charge it because this draws a lot of power. Um, and generally, the connections to the computer um, don't provide enough power for it. Um, so you want to have extra battery packs. So this has a battery mount on the back. Um, yeah, it's this added probably about four hundred dollars or so in accessories that, as a developer, I generally consider are pretty important or for long use playtime are pretty valuable um most people if they just are doing standalone with this the only thing they need to do is find the head strap that works for them and then get a extra battery pack because i a lot of people will not be using vr headset standalone long than a couple hours um, until they get very used to VR, which takes a lot of time in VR. 
Um, so, like, for me, I can go 10, 15 hours in VR, which this headset can't do standalone unless I add big batteries. Um, and, um, the problem with going a long time is weight and ergonomics. And this headset is actually lighter than in its original format with its other head strap is lighter than the Apple Vision Pro by about 20-ish grams. Um, yeah, which... I was surprised there wasn't a weight. A, what there what didn't have a weighted headset for the Apple Vision yeah, Pro because yeah, it definitely they... needed one. It was funny because I yeah. said to the guy, I said, uh, oh, it's light enough. It doesn't need it, huh? And he said, you be the judge of that. <laughs> but he said, yeah. Yeah, that's... So it was sort of like, he wasn't going to say, hell no, that thing's heavy. But 